What's going on, everybody? It's your boy. Hey, give you guys a review for Married to Medicine. I don't have any Long Island for two reasons. One, because at some point I need to go out, buy the stuff to make some more. I'm lazy and exhausted most days. So, yeah. And also, it's the Shabbat. So, you know, got to have one for Shabbat. I mean, you just got to. All right. So, Quad is turning 35. She looks great for it. So, she's already 35. Uh, it's going to present a Brazilian carnival. And, you know, she's with um, Janice uh, doing some, uh, ordering a cake, doing some chocolate testing. And I, um, I'm assuming it was uh, orgasmic in her mouth because she was into it. Uh, the reason that she's doing this is because uh, she, there's been a lot of adversity that year. And she's given so much to other people that she needs to give to herself. You know, and damn it, I feel I, shit, I feel on that. I've had a, a rough fucking year, and I give to many, but you know, it is what it is. You know, um, Doctor Heavy, she uh, is saying that Lisa Nicole waits till last minute to do stuff. The venue isn't uh, reserved and whatnot. Um, just all the other stuff, and she's saying this to her husband, but at the same exact time, it's almost like, okay, you putting this out there, and part of me feels that she she probably already knew some shit was going down, but was she trying to do this for the cameras? I don't fucking know. Um, and she mentions to her husband that, you know, she did, she, you know, posed nude for the lookbook. He would have bad, don't care. The Harris family, they, they are in the process of moving. And Toya trying to do this whole, you know, hopefully my kids, you know, they don't uh, react to, you know, us downtime to a small house. Real fucking talk. The kids really not going to care that fucking much. I mean, granted, yes, it's still going to be a big house. I highly doubt kids going to notice that, oh, my God, this house isn't as large unless you make it an issue. And she needs to stop trying to sit here and make us think that, oh, my God, she cares so much about what her kid. Come on now, stop it. I mean, we, I, here's the, I was born. At night, 3.09 a.m., December 23rd, 1986, but it wasn't last night, so let's not do that. All right, so the Harrises, they move, and the kids are cool with it. Again, why wouldn't they? And then you have Lee, not Lisa, uh, Toya, whole thing is, you know, well, I see that the kids don't really care about this. We just got to love them, and yeah, yeah, blah, blah. Fuck out of here with that. Miss me with the bullshit. Now that Simone and Jackie, they sit down. Uh, kind of rehashing uh, what's going on between Jackie and Curtis. And, you know, she says that, okay, well, I got it to where we sit here and we sync calendars, you know, so it make it easier. And uh, Dr. Um, Simone was like, I think she's missing the whole thing where she's trying to sit here and bring, you know, sync calendars and do all this when he's trying to get away from the calendars. And, you know, like I said, I... I miss folks saying that Curtis compromised, and I'm pretty sure in some aspects he does. But you know, I really don't. I really don't know what to say. But um, Dr. Simone did say something to Dr. Jackie, and it was long story short. And I say this to all those you know that work under me. You know, you have to be the change that you want to see in any given situation. There is only one thing, one person that you can change, and it is yourself. You can change how you react to a situation. You can change. You, it's only you. You can't change the other person. And I think when a lot of people get to a point where they realize that in any given situation, the only changeable variable is truly yourself. Now, when it comes to kids and whatnot, that, that's another Marvel story now, but just in general. So we'll see how she takes that. Now you got Dr. Heavy and um, Lisa Nicole. Now, that's what we are uh, promoting. A radio, I'm sorry, promoting uh, their event at a radio station. Lisa Nicole is stuck in, I forget where the fuck she's stuck at. Um, but, you know, she uh, flies standby because somebody in her family works for the airline. And apparently, uh, Dr. Heavy knew this. So, you know, of course, she's passing out, giving us a TV moment. And I will say I do agree with Dr. Heavy. If you know that you have an event that you are trying to promote, this is not one of those times to kind of sit here and I'll, you know, I'll be there if I make it there. Like, you need to make sure that you are here. But, I mean, I personally think that she was putting 20 on 10, just a little bit. And even asking about the contract, this, that, and third, yeah, yeah, yeah. And here's my whole thing. 
if you think at least in the cold is being unprofessional, because I'm gonna keep it all the way one thousand with y'all. I am I'm I can I compare myself to Dr. Jackie. I am a planner. Things gotta be a certain motherfucking way, dress right, motherfucking dress. Ninety nine point nine 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 percent of the time, and I say it because I fucked up back in December. But I tend to have a, a plan and a backup plan and a backup plan and a backup plan and a backup plan. And also, real shit, if motherfuckers start sitting here swerving on left and right on my ass, especially if I haven't donated any fucking money, I'm gonna back the fuck away. Cause I'm not gonna sit here and call myself no undue stress and no shit like that. But again, that's just a motherfucker like me. All right, so this shit is getting messy. So you got Simone Mariah, uh, Janice, and Dr. Heavy. Dr. Simone, I swear, I do that, and I don't know why I do that, and I swear it is absolutely no shade. But um, they're together, and Dr. Heavy is pretty much telling them that, you know, Lisa trademarked the title, um, Teach Me How to Grow With You, and she feels the kind of way now. Does she feel that she should have been told? I will say this. I don't feel no kind of way because Lisa Nicole came up with the fucking name. So, and it's one of those where I know when you mad, you sit here, you sometimes put 20 on 10, but I think, it's, you know, Dr. Heavy is reaching. Y'all let me know if y'all don't feel any different. Now, she said that, uh, I, I, I'm sorry. Now, Lisa talking to uh, Dr. Darren pretty much uh, said that she had um, not necessarily reserved the um, venue, but kind of, you know, made it to where, you know, it's that. It, okay, it, I'll say like this. She reserved it, but didn't lock it down. And she didn't lock it down because she did not have uh, Dr. Heavy's uh, portion of the uh, deposit. Because she wanted to sit here and pay the whole damn thing. And then it turns out that, you know, Dr. Heavy wasn't going to give a shit. Well, of course, Dr. Heavy pulled out leaving uh lisa with the bill that she said that the bill was twelve thousand, which means that dr heavy would have paid six thousand opposed to the seven thousand that she was talking about now dr heavy is pretty much going to do her event called heaven helmet which is initially what she was trying to uh use as a title on the same day just in a different venue which I think it's kind of shady now. Dr. Simone says to Dr. Heavy, well, pretty much, I kind of already gave you my word. I got your back, but I'm more friends with you than I am with Lisa. And Mariah's feeling the spot, if I'm not mistaken, because I think, like I said, because I don't always get everything. I think she was uh, unsure when she was talking to Heavy, but she knows she's not going to do it. I think that's only because she didn't want to upset. Uh, well, she said she didn't want to ruffle her feathers at her house. Now, Lisa uh, mentions the Instagram video that um, Dr. Heavy did. In addition to that, also made mention of the fact that on the flyer, uh, Janice, um, Dr. Simone, and I think she said Dr. Jackie, and Lisa Nicole is under the impression that uh, Dr. Simone is going to be on her team. Not necessarily the case. This shit is hella fucking messy, but we're going to see what it is. All right, so... Kawhi has her party at her friend's uh, Emily's place. Everything looks nice. You have Mariah with her mom, Lucy. Uh, they mentioned how uh, Kawhi did not invite her to the uh, party. Mariah called, for lack of better phrasing, calls uh, Kawhi the chameleon. It is what it is. Don't really care too much about what they said. I mean, it, it was a messy moment on camera. It is what the fuck it is, all right? Um, now, at the party... You know, uh, Toya was on the budget with how she came in, and she wanted to sit here and talk shit on Janice, and Janice like she was uh, coming to America. No, 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 Janice pretty much said, since y'all not going to have me on as a permanent this season, every time I come on the screen, I'm going to snatch y'all edges, and she did. I was just like, well, hot damn, and yeah, you know she works out that body bad, and you know, uh, Simone it was simple. You know, ain't hey, wasn't nothing wrong with that. Of course, you know, uh, Toya had some shade to throw. I was upset that uh, Simone didn't throw her shade right there, but she pretty much said that, uh, you know, um, that gut that uh, Toya has, uh, only her husband wants to see it, but nobody else. <laughs> and I don't know what's going to come of it, and I think it's going to make me upset, but Donna Simone felt that this was the appropriate time to pick a bone with um, Curtis. I'm not feeling it. I mean, because based off what we saw, I mean, yeah, he finna sit here and 
pretty much kind of, you know, give a one-two punch to his wife, which I'm not really here for, but it's one of those where, as a friend, that's real fucked up of Donna Simone to do, because now you're going to sit here and bring more attention to their situation, and if you really fucks with her like that and fucks with him, you could have been called him, could have been like, hey, can we schedule a fucking, uh, you know, lunch where we can sit down and talk, but you're going to do it at somebody's fucking party? Again, I know it's reality television, but it's just certain shit. Personally, I ain't finna sit here and do it at somebody's fucking event, and then a fucking birthday party at that? Miss me. Alright, so Simone pretty much says to her, I feel some kind of way because you wasn't there. You know, he's trying to, you know, defend himself. They go back over there, and I got know a lot of people, ma I know a lot of people mad at Curry, but on some real shit, we gotta be mad at Dr. Simone because, again, wrong motherfucking time, and if you fuck with him like that, why you wait until now? So you bring the shit up, he's fucking defensive, saying that, and because, you know, Dr. Simone, like, because you know Damon would have never left his wife, and hey, girls saw he was like, ah, <laughs> I didn't leave my wife. My wife left me. I know it's fucked up. I'm sorry. I laugh. I know I'm a horrible fucking person. I fucking laugh. But Curtis did say something to Dr. Jackie, which I feel her more. And I mean, to paraphrase, let's keep everybody else out of our business because you are putting them in it. So, and in this one thing that I have said, like, I do talk about aspects of my personal life, but trust and believe, if I was dating somebody, y'all would never fucking know because that's none of y'all damn business because the moment that I start putting it out there, y'all start seeing her, this, that, and third. Do you know what that is? Now y'all have all the room to sit here and be in my damn relationship. And trust when I say there are certain things that I keep private, damn it, that is one of them. So that being said, I get what he was trying to say to her, like, you putting him in our relationship, like, you need to stop that. And... But her whole thing is, can you let them know that we made up this, that, and third, and we're moving on to a better place? But at the same exact time, if Dr. Jackie felt some kind of way, she should have shut that shit down with her friend, Dr. Simone. I'm, I'm just saying. Um, And then, uh, can can we sit here and say that Quad broke it the fuck down? I was like, well, 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 come, well come on. Come through. I was like, well, I was like, shit, I'll... Janice might have came to slave, but I'm going to sit here and say the choir took that shit right the fuck on back. I <laughs> made it clear. Ain't nobody finna sit here and outshine me at my damn birthday party. So kudos to choir. And then Dr. Heavy, being sneaky as fuck, talking about saying, you know, I'm the underdog and you only have so much time to sit here and play in my event. Are you going to come? And that's that's that whole, like, and of course, Janice said, yes, it is what it is. Dr. Jackie is saying yes, only because despite whatever issues she and Heavy has, that Heavy has supported her when Lisa Nicole hadn't. But it is what it is. Me personally, I just would have been like, I ain't going there one of y'all motherfucking events. I would be neutral. Switzerland, bitch. All right, but before, before I finish, I just want to show y'all, like, I was up in the kitchen and shit, you know, making me some, um, I don't know if y'all could see the, um, you know, uh, bittersweet chocolate chip, but I uh, made some, um, you know, uh, chocolate chip pound cake. Mm hmm. Like, as soon as that motherfucker cool the fuck off, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna go to the fucking town on that. But to close this out, Dr. Simone pretty much says to um, Quad that she need to throw her ass in the circle, but Dr. G, get him in the baby. She says having, you know, her nephew at home is making her, you know, think twice about things. It is what the fuck it is. Uh, Dr. Simone feels that Quad just had to get the monkey off her back. And that is it. Now, next week, seems like we finna get the drama. And I cannot wait. So that's all that I have. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Um, if all goes well, you guys should get uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys are going to get uh, Love and Hip Hop uh, New York on time. And that is only because I have a board that I have to go to on Tuesday. Wish me luck. But um, I really have to sit here and dedicate myself to studying. And at the same exact time, I need to make sure that I get a substantial amount of sleep. So that my head is clear for this board because, I can, like I said, I fucked up the last one. I cannot fuck this one up. And if all goes well, then like I will be out of this shit pretty fucking damn soon. Woo, come on. I'm, I'm, I'm praying on that one. But that's all that I have. But again, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I love you all. Have a blessed, blessed night. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and share. I will see you guys Sunday. Peace.